know, robotics and automation is a very interesting topic for DHL. Um, unlike the manufacturing industry, the logistics industry is uh, um, a little bit behind the curve in terms of automation and mechanized approach towards how we operate, especially in the warehouse environment. 80% of our warehouses globally are manual. So this, this gives a lot of opportunities for us to look for different ways to improve the productivities of our people, particularly in aging you know, environment where we potentially can look for robotics as a help to complement um, our workforce around the world. A lot of our warehouse today are manual in nature. So there's a lot of people handling and uh, uh, manual processes within our environment today. The idea of having a robot that can work side to side with human beings, the, the idea of a robot that is economically um, interesting uh, from an ROI standpoint, and a robot that is able to be flexible and be taught and trained to do activities that can improve the productivity of our general uh, work environment is very interesting for us. So we are actively looking at proof cases uh, for the first time, I believe, in this industry to work with uh, Rethink Robotics, for example, um, and our customers to find opportunities to add value. And what we look to have in future is to reorganize our processes in a way that we can allow collaborative robots to be part of this very human heavy process um, and uh, to add value to an existing process that is extremely labor intensive and we look forward to having either a, uh, you know, a Baxter or, or a Sawyer to be part of the chain of assembly lines for us to support the packaging process. We did a, a lot of research when we developed our um, trend research uh, report, deep dive on the topic of robotics and automation. And through this research, we looked at different um, uh, robotics providers and Rethink came up as a best-in-class robotics that is able to you know, uh, work with human beings very effectively. They have sensors all around it and as well cameras embedded in the robot um, to facilitate some of the activities that is not possible without these accessories. Um, and in that integrated approach, it also allows us to be able to teach the robots um, through you know, people who may not have the necessary engineering skill sets. Our experience in its setup in our innovation center was very smooth. Uh, we created use cases for the robots within minutes um, and we are looking forward to run proof cases uh, with the robot uh, in, in a very effective way with our customers going forward. It's early time still, but what we've already seen in, is uh, it has already met our objective of steering the curiosity bone of our customers. Um, today at this conference, we are very happy to see so much interest with Collaborative Robot because we are able to um, demonstrate the capability of these robots in person. You know, nothing beats having a physical experience with a robot like uh, Baxter or Sawyer and looking forward to more use cases that we can deploy in our facilities with you know, Sawyer and Baxter uh, with our customers in an actual warehousing environment.